hello and welcome to this video so in this section of the playlist you we are going to talk about how to get all the data from the uh back end that is all these to do to do items that we have created we want to get them and display them in the front end over here where we see this buy groceries for next week new car so basically whatever to do i create is going to be displayed right here in the front end so uh let's do that so we're going to go to our um, views.py file and in our views.py file we're going to write um, some queries that are going to retrieve this data for us so that we can display it in the front end so what we simply need to say here is um, we need to come down and say create a new variable we'll say all all uh, to do's all to do is equal to to do dot object dot filter now i'm going to explain what's what um what we're currently typing but let me just type this out so i get to say um user is equal to request dot user so basically what we're saying right here is um we want you to we're telling django that okay django go to a database and filter through all the items in this to do model or in this to do table and get every to do item that was um that was uh, created by this particular user that is the user that is currently logged in so it's going to go to the database get every um to do list item that i have created and it's going to display them in the front end so what we need to do right now is we need to now actually pass this uh all to do's as a context so that we can it can be displayed in the front end so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable or a new dictionary and name it context our context dictionary and we're going to i'm going to say to do's and equate that to all to do's so what you now need to do after passing in after creating this context dictionary we need to pass it in in our um, return render so we're going to pass this context in so that we can actually grab all this data and display it in the front end. So let's save that and go to the to-do.html file. So right now, we are, we are we've success, successfully been able to grab all this data and send to the front end. Well, how do we take that data and display it in the front end? What we need to do is we need to write a for loop that loops through each and every single item in the to do um, table and displays them right here so i'm going to show us how to do that the first thing we need to do is we need to only leave one row that is this first row buy groceries for next week and delete this other two rows so we would come back come down here and uh delete these two rows so we'll just go ahead and delete those uh sorry let me make sure i deleted that well so let's remove this row remove this row and delete these two so once i go back and refresh nope let's refresh the page and we can see we only have one um row there so what we need to do is we need to write a single for loop inside this uh T body tag so we're going to say for i in for i in to do's now why are we saying for i in to do's we're saying for i in to do's because we've right here we've passed to do's as a context dictionary so this to do's is going to take all this data that has been filtered in this line line 14 and it's going to pass it to the front end so we're going to say for i in to do's right here we're going to replace this with uh i dot name now we're saying i dot name because in the model we gave this field uh so okay we need to give it i dot to do name sorry my bad so we're going to say i dot to do underscore name to do underscore name now anytime you want to display data um from a context dictionary like this you need to use this double coily brackets to do that so i get say i does to do name and over here we need to write a conditional to check if uh 
if the status is positive or negative sorry if it is true or false i mean so if it is true we want um completed to be displayed else if it is false we want in progress to be displayed so let's just uh control x this first so we'll write a conditional right here and then we're going to say if if uh i dot um let's check it if i dot status we're saying i dot status because right here we gave it the field a variable name of status so we'll say if i dot status is equal to true that means uh it has been completed we're going to display this we're going to say completed co O M P L E T E T. Again, say completed. And then here, all we need to say is we need to write down that conditional and say else. I'm going to paste in progress right here. And don't forget, anytime we do this, we need to end the block. So I'm going to say end if. So uh we've said uh if idle status is true, then it's going to be completed. But if it is not completed, uh is going to display in progress so that is all we need to do for now let's save that come to our front end and reload let me zoom in so let's reload the page and we have an error let's check what the error is it says on close tagline looking for an empty end for okay so right here we didn't close our for loop now this is the error that's um i've gotten a whole lot of times so don't forget anytime you create a tag you need to close the block anytime you create a block you need to create um close the block if it's a for block you need to put end for if it's an if block you need to put end if when you are done so let's save that go to our front end and reload the page once we reload the page you can see everything is displayed beautifully right here in um in this um front end we can see make new youtube video if we come to the back uh, dashboard you can see make new youtube video here you can see upload video tomorrow here so you can see everything is being displayed perfectly um in the front end and we can see everything is in progress because uh we have given because everything has been set to default which is um false so everything is displayed as in progress but if we were to change make new youtube video if we were to take this and mark it as completed if we come to the front end and reload we can see it has changed to completed so uh we have now written some decent code that is able to uh go to the that is able to go to the database and filter through and get all the uh to-do list items that have been created by me which is the current logged in user so uh we need to i think we need to add one line of code to our views right here so we want it to be in such a way that when the user has uh entered a new to-do list item and it hit add task the page will load so let's just check okay let's try to create a new task um let me na name it subscribe please subscribe so let's add that and then we can see please subscribe has been added and it's saying in progress so that is how to get all the data from the um back end and get it to be displayed on the front end so right now what we need to do is uh in the next video we're going to talk about how to actually make these buttons work so for example if we want to delete this um this particular to-do list item all we can do is just hit delete and it's going to delete this item from our database and if you want to mark an item as finished all we need to do is just hit finished and it's going to um, mark the item as finished so that is all for today guys thank you for watching this video if this was helpful and if this was um if this was helpful basically please hit that like button please share please subscribe and comment Please help me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one where we're going to talk about how to make um, the delete and update 
basically we are going to make the delete button work and we are going to update each item to make them to be able to make them um sorry what i mean is we are going to make this button work and we need to make this finished button work so when it is clicked this particular item will be marked as um completed so thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one